Okay, welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're going to be um, going over uh, kind of two ways of cleaning chips. So as you can see on the screen here, uh, we're going to be using an ultrasonic cleaner to do one set of chips. And then we're going to be using uh, the Sterling's Magic Cleaner and a toothbrush for another set of uh, chips. So uh, to begin with, you want to fill up the ultrasonic cleaner with water, obviously. Um, it's going to use the sound waves to knock off the dirt and uh, uh, dirtiness off the chips that you want to get clean. So just fill it up a good amount. Then on the first test batch of chips, uh, we used a little bit of Dawn. Put them in the ultrasonic cleaner for about five minutes. Uh, I believe the temperature, yeah, as you can see, it's uh, set to 30 degrees Celsius. So they sat in there for five minutes. So here they are after being in there for five minutes. Um, as you can see, it didn't knock too much of the dirt off, but it definitely did a little bit. And obviously front and back, so I just show you guys the difference. And there you can see the dirt at the bottom of the ultrasonic cleaner that it knocked off. Um, so then this next batch. For this next batch, we did the same Dawn, but then we just added a little bit of Fabuloso uh, cleaning uh, kind of liquid to it to see if that would help at all. So there's three different chips. Um, this time we bumped up the temperature to 35 degrees Celsius to see if that would make any difference. And uh, I think it made a little bit of a difference, but um, nothing too major, I think, because they were only in for five minutes again. So as you can see, like the where there's a solid patch of dirt, which is the finger oils, it's not really gonna come off and uh inside the the molds like in the t-mold on the uh panama chip up there it wouldn't it won't come out as easily so then we just stuck the two groups of chips in there for 15 minutes to see if that would make a bigger difference longer time a little bit more heat and uh, activation to that maybe it might make a uh, more of a difference so after 15 minutes take them out we'll give them a little rinse and this is what they looked like. So um, obviously you could still tell they're dirty. I mean, they're not perfect, but um, like inside the molds where it's not really gonna get all of the dirt, but um, it gets a majority of the dirt off, so. Now I saw a video by a guy named Hobby Philic who used an ultrasonic cleaner to clean his chips. And um, that kind of sparked my interest to kind of do this. I'll have to go back and watch it again to see how long he had the chips in there for. But um, see, as you can see on the screen here, they, I mean, for 15 minutes, it knocked off way more dirt than just the five minutes. So I think the longer the time, the better it is. And then we did an additional five minutes. So that makes the total time that they were in there for 25 to 30 minutes at about 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. Now, as you can see, they're still dirty. I mean, they're not perfect, but um, I mean, it's 
doing its job, so. And then I wanted to get another set of chips and I just want to thank uh, Spinetti's for providing all these chips for me to test out uh, to kind of show you guys how uh, the two different ways of cleaning. So these, uh, this set of chips, I'm going to be using the Sterling's cleaner and the toothbrush. So this is just a clip I made in another, another video of uh, kind of teaching people how to clean chips with the Sterling's cleaner. Um, so this side is just one pass of the cleaner and the toothbrush. And as you can see, it made a world of a, world of a difference, um, especially on the, like the horseshoe chip and the rainbow clubs. Um, and the Crystal Palace because those all were pretty nasty And then here's the back side to show the side that wasn't cleaned So as you can see it's a major difference on those chips And then just one quick overview again So, um, as you can see, the two different ways of cleaning on the screen here. Top would be the Magic Cleaner and the Toothbrush, which those chips all look pretty clean. And the bottom chips are just going to be using the Ultrasonic Cleaner with some Dawn and Fabuloso Cleaning uh, Liquids. I'll have to do a little bit more research and testing on the Ultrasonic Cleaner, or maybe if you guys um, have any tips on using an Ultrasonic Cleaner to clean chips and how long you should put them in there, etc., etc., that you could kind of um, give me some hints and maybe help me out in the comments. Um, I know the ultrasonic cleaner would probably be more beneficial in cleaning uh, like a larger quantity of chips, whereas using the magic cleaner and the toothbrush would be for like one or two chips here and there. But my opinion on this would be the magic cleaner and the toothbrush are um, a little bit faster way to do stuff and get the, the cleaner result in a quicker time. But if you have a larger quantity of chips, you might want to use uh, an ultrasonic cleaner to get the larger quantity of chips cleaner, but it might take a little longer. So if you guys have any tips, like I said, uh, if you could put those in the comments below, that'd be awesome. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, also, let me know what the quality of this mic is. Uh, I just got it because in my last video with the drive, -in, drive with me, I had a few people saying that they couldn't hear me over the car sound or I just talk really uh, quietly. So hopefully the mic quality on this is good. And if you guys aren't subscribed yet, uh, that would mean a lot if you could. Just hit the subscribe button, it only takes one second. And also click the like button. And this has been Oscar and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, see you then.